Greetings, this is Darvet doing Let's Play Stellaris. And yeah, so in the last chapter we expanded further. We sent off a colony ship to go to Fihir. Even though it's only 30% inhabitable, inhabitable for us. So yeah. The planet Regal 4 is the home of a marvel of nature. Giant colourful explosions appear in the sky, a result of the chemical composition of the atmosphere reacting to the sun's gamma rays. Students and senior scientists alike are spreading this find like a wildfire. It has generated quite the spark of interest for the scientific field amongst our people. So, for two years we get plus 20% survey speed and plus 20% research speed for anomalies. Which is pretty cool. Okay, gas giant ship. Active scans of Tyrebor 5 have picked up what appears to be a large ship deep inside the atmosphere of the gas giant. Judging by the nearby debris, there have been several failed attempts to salvage this derelict in the past. Any ship strong enough to withstand such crushing gravity must be a magnificent prize, and science officer Tariq Elbaz has proposed a salvage project of our own. Bring it up. Whatever it is. Situation log updated. Okay. And we got you and we want this is why the best and the brightest compete for a chance to whisper advice into the auditory receiver of our illustrious ru ruler to better guide the ship of state. So ruler level cap increased by two. Yes, we want that. Means now our president can go up to level eight. Anomaly found. An abandoned ship has been left to drift aimlessly above this moon. The massive sails protruding from its hull suggest that it relied on solar power to function. We'll research that place. Okay. Yeah, it's worth noting that we are at maximum. Uh, we are at our soft limit, and this will probably take us over our limit. Okay, what have we got? Election, new president. Let's see who's currently ruling from Earth. Omar Sasani. That's our current present president. Oh, he's only got a fourteen percent chance. He's happy and. Edicts. We have Starbase module and resilience. Resilience and happiness. Chances are it's going to be Suzanne Houston, who basically we want, want to colonize and consumer goods production up to about six a month is the mandate. It's probably going to be you. I'm throwing my support behind them because I like them. They're actually quite high. So we'll do that. There you go, we can support that as many times as we want using our influence because we're not using it for anything else right now. Sixty-six percent chance. Um seventy-five percent chance. It's one in four we'll get her. For a hundred for a hundred influence. Um we can keep doing it actually, there's not really much we're doing. 80%, it's 1 in 5, 83%, okay, no point doing it anymore, diminishing returns. But that is a high percentage, so we're pretty sure it's going to be Suzanne Houston of the Democratic Rights Society is going to be our next president. 
Might not be, but there you go. In progress. Our colony ship managed, with surprising grace, to manoeuvre between the massive peaks that are so prevalent in the jagged landscape of Fahir Prime, touched down in a sheltered valley that will serve as an ideal first landing site. The ship has been permanently converted into the administrative headquarters of the new settlement, and its reactor core is in the process of being removed so that it may serve as the colony's temporary power source. Hundreds of small tents and prefab shelters have sprung up around the former starship's massive hull as colonists begin to disembark in large numbers, the first human city on an alien world. Great day for the United Nations of Earth. Okay, so, we're now on here. Right. We're now on here colonising the planet. It's going to take a while. But we're here. We have discovered an abandoned solar cell ship in orbit around a Ferragun fight bay. The sublight vessel was built by an unknown culture and appears to be thousand, several thousand years old. One of the massive cells is a large tear where some kind of object passed through, most likely a meteoroid, which appears to have disabled the vessel. Although the technology of the ship is severely outdated, it does possess some interesting engineering design choices. An interest, interesting albeit primitive design. System survey complete. Construction complete. Okay. US Dying Council is auto exploration. It cannot reach or find any unsurveyed systems. There's a reason for that. That is because Suzine Houston has been elected president of the United Nations of Earth. Their mandate is in the, the situation block, which we want to increase our consumer goods consumption uh, production up to at least plus six a month. And as long as we can do that and keep that, that's great. Our president's reign has come to an end with their election campaign promises unfulfilled. Yeah. Nothing can be done about that. Okay, so. Construct. You are not working because you no longer have a leader. She's now a president. We need a new leader. So let's recruit and see what we can find. Anomaly research. 50. Anomaly research speed. Okay. Oh, that's ancient civilizations anomalies. Okay. Still, we'll grab you anyway. It'll be great. You're fine. Problem solved. You're back to auto exploration. Don't think you were in the middle of doing anything. Changed. Could go with nutritional plentitude. I still, still got plenty of thing for it, but it's. Do I want more edicts? Not really. Nutritional plentitude. Can we change these yet? No. We can change them. Uh, basically 21st, 21st on the 6th. Because we might just change those back. And that should be enough to make us... To fulfil the object. To fulfil the mandate. For now. I think we're perfectly able to go back to a civilian economy special project complete 
In a masterful display of engineering, the team under Science Officer Tariq Elbaz has managed to gently raise the derelict ship on Tiber 5 to the gas giant's upper atmosphere. Despite its age, the ancient cruiser is in remarkably good condition and we have restored power to its systems. No trace of the original crew remains, but we have brought over our own and commissioned the ship into the fleet. Excellent. So we've got a cruiser. Let's have a look at this cruiser. This is a derelict class cruiser, which comes like that. Got plasma accelerators, large x ray razor lasers, super shields, some really good com uh, and some really good components. So, what we want you to do, you're going to come back to Earth. We're just going to send you back, that's fine. And we'll see if you can join our fleet. You might not be able to, you might be able to, we'll see. We won't bother assigning you a leader because you're not actually fighting anything yet. Research complete. Okay, we have this will be the robo modding. Uh, mining station output. Autonomous mining drones. Okay. Fleets of autonomous drones equipped with mining beams are deployed to quickly and efficiently gather nearby minerals. Okay. Robo modding. This is the fun part. Okay, we've got robots. That's the basic template. That's how all our robots are, and we've got three of them. But we can create a new template. Okay. Depend what do we we can depend on what they want them to do. For example, they could be spend more time mining, they could spend more time drilling. Uh, they could use less housing. They could cost less upkeep. They could be assembled faster. They could have less empire sprawl. Or they could just cost less to make. Now, we've got two points. So, I think we're going to go with a mast assembled. Cool. And we could go, let's see, luxurious. Highest bandwidth, high maintenance, bulky. Um, well, let's see. We can have they can be double jointed, so they can use the housing to the space of them, or we can reduce their upkeep. Um, I think we'll go with reduced upkeep. And we can rename that as we want. I mean, that's a robot. We can rename that to... Let's see, what name should we have? What should we name this with our new robots? They are... Drones. Let's just call them drones for now. Or droids. Yeah, let's just call them droids. Robots. Droids. Name, droid. Robot, droids. Adjective. Droid. There we go. So we've now got droids. We can create as many templates as we want. We can assign as many as we want. Okay, so but they're mass produced, so they're droids, and they're cheaper. That's why they're droids rather than robots. That's what we're going with anyway. And now what we can do sounds we've got this template and we can set that okay we can apply that template to our robots let's see do we want all our robots to be like that right we want all the ones on earth to be like that definitely and they're all the ones that we got so we're going to do that we're going to apply it you can apply it across our entire empire all our droids are now 
all our droids are basically mass produced and durable. That's what they do. Situation log updated. That means we get a special project which mean which mean which takes from our research, but we can do that, so we're gonna put that in straight there. Our sprawl has got as uh, increased unfortunately. I knew it would. Let's see you you're back to exploring. Sprawl, Empire Sprawl. Could replace that monument with, where is it, administrative offices. Consumer goods into administrative capacity. Basically, it's time to increase our, and to increase so that's what we're going to do. We're going to do you. You're fine. Construction complete. Through hard work and experience, Scientist Sabine Newman has developed new skills. Cool. And of course, we've got our Starbase now, which is upgraded here. We want a trade up. And which collects that lot and that lot. And if we want to, we can also collect this one out here if we do that twice. So, two trade hubs. There we go. That will get all the trade from that area going to Fahir and then going from Fahir See? And then going from Fahir to and the route it will be going through Canam to Wu. So once that starts complete. going up, we'll have that route. Complete. Okay, you, what are you going to do? Well, what are you? You're the Placid Leviathan. Oh, yeah, you're, you're them, okay. Space whaling. We can go whaling. Yay. No thanks. What we'll probably do is slowly head down to here. That's what I'm thinking of for another planet. So, plenty of uh, influence. So, we're going to go to. We're going to move to Citrus and we'll probably do this and then move down. And. Because as soon as I can, I'm probably going to go back to a civilian economy. Probably. There we go. System survey complete. We are receiving a weak signal from the surface of this planet. The surface the source appears to be some kind of tracking beacon. Sure, go ahead, research that. Okay, we've got room for a new building on here. Well, we replaced that one. And we, 
we replace that and that was to replace our auto font font movement so we will build it in the next lot once we've done did we finished our administrative offices job done Okay, small short-range transmitter has been located on the surface of Marfark 1. It appears to be an ancient survey marker placed here long eons ago to mark a large deposit of precious metals. The miners it was meant for evidently never arrived as the deposit is still here. Fair enough. I mean, it's worth noting that the trade route from Fahir doesn't have anything because Fahir doesn't actually have any trade. It's the surrounding area about it. Okay, small docking hatch leading to the interior of this asteroid is visible at the rim of a small crater on its surface. The hatch was likely concealed once, but has since been exposed by a micrometeorite impacts. Yeah, go on then, have a look. System survey complete. Anomaly found. Although Dressel 3A appears totally desolate and devoid of life, our scanners have picked up an encrypted signal emanated from it. Shot. Sure. Off you go. Research complete. This is clone army. Okay. So look at what we got. Gun defense plan the usual. Planetary resurfacing because we've got a planet. With the advent of clean fusion, automation, and matter compression technologies, it was a matter of time only a matter of time before mountain top removal became mountain range removal. Which means we can move remove impassable mountains. But Get all that. We are going to finally do planetary unification because we don't have any biology to do so. Sod it. Anomaly found. We briefly detected some unusual energy readings emanating from this planet. It may have been a glitch in our systems, or it could have been a sign of something more. Construction complete. Okay, you. Might research all of that. No, not research. Go and build all of that. A class 12 asteroid orbits this planet. The small planetized orbit appears to be too stable for its presence to be a natural occurrence. Okay. This asteroid appears to have been used intermittently as a base by a band of alien pirates roughly 1,000 years ago. A small boarding party entered the base and managed to recover their abandoned treasure hoard. It consisted largely of stolen trinkets and artifacts, but some of it still appears to be of value. Nice. Okay. Having decrypted the signal, Sabine Newman was astonished to discover it was broadcasting in an archaic form of one of the main human languages, speaking in these fowls and whence forths. It appeared to be reciting one of the, mo the lost works of William Shakespeare, a renowned human playwright who lived some 600 years ago. It appears that the broadcasting device, a simple satellite dish protect protected by a small shelter, is the only non-natural structure on the moon. There is no hint as to who left it or why, but going by the wear and tear on evidence, it must have been here since shortly after the play was first written, long before humans learned the secret of space travel. 
We can only assume it was left here by ancient visitors to Earth who took a liking to the play and decided to pay our species a strange and unexpected tribute. Okay. So we can gain the unary, unity, but as a xenoph as a xenophile, we can a gift. We must find a way to thank our mysterious benefactors. So basically, more likely to become xenophile and happiness increases all for five years. Okay. You'll notice that we've now got trade coming because it's taken up that trade value. If you look, for here, eight coming, eight coming, eight going, eight going. Okay. While approaching Polygon 1, the US Ptolemy suddenly received a glancing hit by several passing mass driver rounds. The projectiles were billions of years old, and based on their trajectory, trajectory they appear to be stray rounds fired from a neighbouring galaxy. After missing their intended target, they continued on their journey for untold millennia, until today. The rounds we have recovered are of an advanced design despite their incredible age. So, let's have a look at these policies. Trade policy. Our economic policy will change that back to a civilian economy. We can, that means we can keep gaining unity from our trade if that's enough. Does reduce our alloys though, but that's not a big deal, I don't think. Mind you, saying that, we could switch to consumer benefits. Which means we stop getting unity and we get uh, we get uh, consumer goods from our trading, which would also do it and leave us a chance to expand at the same rate. Um, I think we'll switch to a civilian economy and see how that impacts, and then think about, see whether we need to also change our trade policy. So we're going to do that, and we've gone back to a civilian economy. Which means... Anomaly found. Okay. For some reason, someone has towed an asteroid into a stable orbit around Marfark 8. The massive engine sections and braking thrusters can still be found on the surface, although they have long since been rendered inoperable. Whoever did this also mined the asteroid for minerals, but these operations were seemingly abandoned shortly after they began. Okay. A cursory scan of the planet's surface reveals a weak signal pulsing into the darkness of space. Okay, let's have a look. What's that? Done? Let's change things a bit. That should be enough. We have dropped down how much alloy we're producing from our factories, but we're getting some from space anyway, so it's not too big a drop. But we've now got consumer goods up to plus eight. Just assuming it stays like that, we'll meet the plus six. If not, we can change to. Or we can change our trade policy to match. We've found a couple of other planets, but they aren't exactly brilliant. We've got another alpine world, another arid world, another arctic Anomaly world. Found. The mineral composition of Pol Polygar 4A does not match predictions. Okay. So we could consider slowly coming down here and colonising these planets. We could. If we wanted to.
construction complete. Okay. Okay, our fleet, second fleet is back. Can we combine it with the first fleets? No. Second fleet has to be unique. Okay. Which means we can... We're going to leave it. it. It's docked, it's perfectly fine. We can do whatever we want with that when that happens. That can follow around, that can do other stuff, that can protect assets, it can do anything really. But we now have two fleets, and I don't think we are allowed to increase that fleet either. So if we go to the fleet manager, we're not allowed to add anything to it. So that has to stay on its own, its own base, of course, we will keep as Sol, the shipyard. And we'll see if we need to, whether we need to get a, whether we need to get an admiral for that. Okay, honest. Armies. See, let's recruit. We can have an assault army. Damage 1.17 to 315. Or we can have a clone army, which is cheaper and is not limited by population. Uh, they have more morale, more health, do more collateral damage, take less to upkeep. So, we basically got a human clone army. Possibility if we need armies for whatever reason. The signal originates from the remains of an antenna-like structure. Exploratory probes were dispatched from the UNS Ptolemy to the surface to investigate the matter more closely. What Science Officer Tarek Elbaz found was a cavernous vault that, while easily pried open, was evidently the last safe house and refuge of some long dead race of aliens. While reasonably technologically advanced, it seems they never reached for the stars and perished to some planet wide natural disaster. The vault is immense housing thousands upon thousands of black boxes that the UNS Ptolemy has determined to be data storage devices. A special project has been prepared to decode their contents. Situation log updated. Okay. So, we want to go to you because you are going to be re researching that project. There we go. I want to know that I want to know about that now. See what data they got. We love aliens and we love their data. Yeah. Okay. Across the barren fields of Polygar 4A, there are indications of old battles being fought. Beneath the lifeless ground, our researchers on the UNS Ptolemy have found bones, metallic shards, and most surprisingly, a container filled with documents. If we send the documents to our homeworld for translation, we could potentially learn more about this war and who fought in it. It would also be possible to simply sell them off as antiques. We could sell them off, but we're going to send it to our homeworld because we want to translate it. Situation log updated. That gives us a project. We found the remains of a warrior people in a long abandoned battlefield, and they were carrying texts that must have been important to them. If we translate these documents, we could learn more about these people and the war they, about these people and the wars they fought. Off we go then. Get at it. System survey complete. Okay. During its survey of Dressel 9, the UNS Leif Erikson discovered deposits of rare crystals. These crystals have properties that make them extremely effective at focusing laser beams, and they are also a critical component in most advanced electronics. In addition, many cultures treasure them as decorations and ornaments. While we do not yet possess the means to extract this resource, 
we should seriously consider establishing control over the system for future exploitation. Noted. System survey complete. Special project complete. Okay, the vault is a tomb for hopeful immortals. Science offer Tarek Elbaz asserts that the huge blocks of ternary code found in the databanks are neural images, digitized brain scans. Doubtless the aliens of Piranis Freya considered this their only shot at any kind of survival following whatever calamity befell their planet. They did not have the means to resurrect themselves but banked on the impossibly small hope that eventually someone else would have those means. We can let dead aliens lie or we, we do not but download their neuro patterns for safekeeping. Basically we might be able to find a tech that allows us to restore those aliens. Which would be pretty cool. Anomaly found. Okay, a science officer has found an anomaly that require extensive probing but could garner a substantial find. Off you go. Anomaly found. An ancient orbital space shipyard drifts in science above this world. It has suffered significant battle damage and entire sections of the facility are missing. Okay, let's research that one. Evading hostile fleet. Where's that? Oh, that's down here. Okay. More ancient mining drones. Either or they just moved. One of the two. It's okay, it's fine. Special project complete. We have completed the modification to the droid species. So if we look at our robots. We can now tell it. Okay, any valid species are allowed to be assembled on Earth. Okay, but no, we want them specifically to be droids. So now, from now on, we only build droids. Research complete. Okay, let's have a look. Autonomous station protocols. Okay, well, we might as well look at uh, where you got field much of plasma plasma throwers, weapons that eject destructive balls of high energy plasma at targets. These plasma projectiles are extremely effective at eating through ship armor. Great, but we're going to go with specialized combat computers. Active matrix is tuned for specific combat centric tasks, greatly improve engagement efficiency. Which basically means that the combat computer would our cruiser will now behave differently. Well it does anyway, it's already got it, but you know what I mean. We'll get it because we can get it. System survey complete. Okay. After the study of Karanis 5 was concluded, science of Tarek Elbaz reports that they have found the planet to be unusually rich in minerals. This discovery was made possible in large part thanks to a certain member of the UNS Potemi crew. Elbaz praises the protege highly. Highly, so we can either make them a science officer, or we can give the promising crew modifier to the ship for two years, which increases their 
discovery and research, Disco anomaly discovery chance and research speed. Now I don't need a new scientist. So we're going to give them good work where they are. Thank you. Because the anomaly bonuses are pretty good. For what we want. Anomaly found. Okay. While conducting their survey of Dressel 4A, the UNS Leaf Action detected remains of an automated shipyard in orbit. It is at least a thousand years old and seems to have been subjected to a heavy missile barrage. Barrage but one of its manufacturing bays is still in working condition. Officer Science Officer Sabi Newman is confident that power can be restored to the shipyard, but it would be a significant project. So we can repair automated shipyard. Now this one is interesting because we need to have a construction ship in orbit, and we've only got one construction ship. It's all the way over here. So once that's done, we can basically decide where we want, if we want to go and see where this thing is, because the actual automated is in Dressel, which is, where is Dressel? Over here. So that's a long way to go, but they might be able to fix it. There is no time on it though, so it could just, we could just leave it. However, I am all for sending the sh off to sea to get some free to uh, see what it's going to make. If we can repair it. Construction complete. So, off you go. It's going to take a long time. Go and repair that. It's going to stop our expansion a bit. But that's fine. Okay, so resource storage full. Basically, we're now not we've now got full materials. We can sell materials on the market if we wanted to. For credits, we can buy stuff. We could we can sell markets and buy consumer goods if we really wanted to. It has it has gone down after all, so we could do that. But there is another option. We could just dump some resources into this sector and let it look after itself for a while. So all sorts of or we could leave it because it really doesn't matter. If we got more resources than we use, then so be it. Do we really need more? Just being is a good stockpile of resources. I mean, the other thing we could do, which is a possibility, is look at a summary. We've got two mines, so most of it's coming from mining jobs. We could we could transfer them to other districts, like we could turn them to trade districts, place our mines with city districts, for example, which gives us amenities. Yeah. And trade value. Don't need food, we don't need credits. I mean obviously if we spend if we spend minerals then the stockpile is no longer full. It won't be not full for long, but not the point <laughs> now looking at this we are going to switch our trade policy to consumer benefits 
So when that switch is over, there you go, that should be more than enough. Meanwhile, let's have a look at what we got. And we can actually, colony development speed increased by 25%. We must expand our civilization to new systems and planets or risk eventual extinction. Let's adopt that then. There we go. So that means our colony will now develop faster. Anomaly found. Okay, the material composition of this asteroid differs significantly from its neighbours. It likely has a different origin than the other bodies of this asteroid belt and should be investigated more closely. Off you go. System survey complete. Okay, although it's difficult to accept, all indications point towards asteroid 409F1000 being a coprolite, a piece of fossilized feces from some kind of massive life form. It appears to be almost a billion years old, and much of the fossil's original organic composition has been replaced by mineral deposits. Our scientists are baffled as to what kind of creature could have produced something like this. System survey complete. So, we're co exploring quite well down here. I mean, we look at. We have explored. We've explored about a third of the galaxy now. Not too bad. Okay. Do we need to do stuff? To be honest, I don't think we do. Could probably pop in a few more city districts if we wanted. There we go. And now we need to clear blockers if we want more space. So we're go I'm going to put that. Okay. Let's open up the Delhi Sprawl. And then we can open up Pacific Algae Tracts by clearing up the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. There you go, job done. It's a lot for that planet to do.
anomaly found. A colossal impact crater hints that something big collided with the surface of this planet once. Okay. The other thing we can do, if we look here, I want to see if we got it here. No, it's not. Resource silos. Massive resource silos and storage facilities can where large quantities of resources can be safely kept. We're not using anything else, so sure, we'll build the resource silos. Because we're just not using them for anything else. At this time. And each one... I believe you've got yours because yours is crew quarters. Okay. Basically a place to dock all our ships. System survey complete. I mean, we might need to consider whether we're going to change the throughput to alloys a bit by building an extra factory, maybe. If we, but we got plenty of alloys. The large, mineral-rich asteroid collided with Osgabum Four at some point during the previous thousand years in what must have been a major impact event. The abundance of minerals can now be found on a planet in the vicinity of the impact crater. Sweet. System survey complete. Research complete. Okay. <sighs> what have we got? Coil, uh, coil gun, destroyers, flat cannons. Upgraded flat batteries with new, more powerful shrapnel rounds. Um, Anti-gravity engineering. With directional gravi gravity technology, buildings on the surface of planets can reach higher than ever before without risking structural collapse. The sky is the limit. Sure, go ahead, have fun. Fill your boats, knock yourself out. Research complete. Okay. New research. What have we got? Anything else? Gravity sensors or auxiliary fire control. By extolling an auxiliary fire control system, the ships can afford to make more advanced calculations. Okay. Which basically increases their chance to hit, or we can unlock sensors. I think we're going, with, we're going to go with auxiliary fire control. Meanwhile, you can be upgraded. 32 alloys, so we'll have that straight away. Construction complete. Special project complete. 
It appears that the texts we found buried in the battlefield were more teachings written by Talisa the Teller of Tales. The documents are breakdowns of tactics, strategy and most importantly logistics in the interstellar warfare. Being a strong spokesperson against war, Talisa still found this to be an essential knowledge for steering into the future. Even those people of people might be forced into a corner in their work for a better world. Even the wires can go to war it seems. She gives us access to a new edict. Let's have a look at this edict. Master's teachings. Naval capacity turned 10%, army upkeep reduced, and it lasts last 12, 12 years, 12 and a half years. But we don't actually need it, so I'm not going to bother. However, it doesn't count against our edict cap. Ships upgraded. System survey complete. Eight F F V two three two five four periodically spews an alarming electric mix of particles and radiation into the void. Okay. Have some fun then. Off you go. Colony established. Okay, the colony's done. So let's have a look, shall we? What have they got? Well the moment there's I don't can't have rock popular so I can't actually send anyone over because I've not got the controls. I can however send robotic servants over. I can send all three of the ones over there to help out over here. Cool, so let's do that. Resettle. Resettle. We'll disable a building slot. Okay. Resettle. So, what has that done? That basically that. Well, we're in that. But when we get the population back, it should. Should increase. That's the plan. Okay, colony over here. What have we got? Mostly droids and a human. Hasn't decided what is growing or assembling, but just not much. Colonists. The only thing we can do is colonists which provide defense armies amenities and food so for basic growth so we need to decide what are we doing here well check out that what are we doing here well this one over here we've got three unemployed including including robots so let's put some put some jobs in for them let's build some districts see how many what they two clerk jobs with three unemployed pops I think we're going to turn you into a generator world. Probably. At the moment it says designate quality, which means its happiness increases as well as its growth speed, uh, growth speed because it's a new world. So let's build... Can you do... Okay, let's build agriculture district 
and let's build generate district that should give us room for people to grow cover any deficits and we'll put in a city district as well Fleet. Where's that? Is that also down here? No, that's up here. Where's that? Mining core. Okay. My impactor ability to explore up there then. Research complete. But that's fine. Let's see what have we got? Planetary unification. Additional edicts. Yeah, they're great. So what have we got? More on the administration path, habitability, terraforming, Ministry of Capacity, clears tile blockers. Um, let's have a look, what have we got? Mm. Well, let's increase the habitability of our planets, I think. Probably the easiest way. Because we have, let's show you, colonial centralization. Robust frameworks for local government sent on a per case basis to meet each colony's needs. Atmospheric filtering. By adjusting atmospheric filtering on a per site basis to better filter out undesirable elements, colonial living conditions may be improved. Okay, and adaptive bureaucracy. The progress we make calls for a new nimbler form of administration that may aid rather than hinder us in our pursuits. Um, we could do terraforming if we're going for that planet. We could look and go towards terraforming. But let's go with habit habitability right now, I think. That's what we're going for. Because yes, our world is only 30% habitable, which means lots of resources and growth are reduced. So obviously making it more habitable. We'll improve survey complete. the... Uh, there you go, see. We have received some rather troubling reports regarding the deteriorating health of scientist Tariq El Baraz. His haggard appearance makes it look as though he's aged all nearly 20 years. The burden of duty can be a heavy thing to bear sometimes. Hey, hey. Nearly there. Totally phased out there. It's a shame because we're going to end. Oh well, it looks like you get another. Year. It looks like you get another year of play in this episode because I completely phased out. I was waiting for the end and then just completely blanked. System survey complete. I mean, we're quite. 
Well, interesting, because this is a ring and we've gone across, if they were other, uh, they would have to go right the way around the galaxy to get past us. Although we've got open borders, so it don't really matter. Okay, there are signs of activity by an ancient precursor civilization on this asteroid. Yes. We like precursor research. We want to try and get as many pre much precursor research as we can, because we want the six artifacts will open will reveal a system that's the home world, which is usually quite nearby where we are and is easy to expand to. And it tends to be fairly powerful and fairly unique, so it can be quite interesting the development of whatever you find there. Anomaly found. There is significant scarring on the surface of this world in a pattern that cannot be natural. From orb orbit, the massive wrists look almost like ratting. Sure. The U.S. Santa Maria finds a disturbing tangle of technology hidden in a deep crater on the asteroid's surface. Evidently, someone has, with rather simple means, managed to stabilize a one-way wormhole and the science and science officer Carla Curtis quickly asserts that the asteroid is the exit point. The other end opens up somewhere in uncharted space, some light years away from a black hole, and a small quantity of dark matter are leaking, being siphoned through the wormhole. Whoever set this up seems to have abandoned the operation. Fascinating. Okay. Through hard work and experience, sci scientist Carla Curtis has developed new skills. Brilliant. Research complete. See, let's have a look at this research. It is auxiliary fire control. Okay, you. Do we want to open up the reactor? Do we want to improve the laser or would we like to just have some moat stabilization? Because that allows us to get 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 access to the to the moats down there. Sure, we'll do moat stabilization for that. Special project complete. The the US Merrimack has successfully restored power to the automated shipyard over Dressel. 4A. The facility immediately resumed its interrupted construction order using what materials it had on hand to build an advanced frigate of unknown design. Fortunately, the ancient facility broke down completely afterwards and has been deemed beyond repair. We have sent a crew to the new ship and pressed it into service within our fleets. Excellent. So, you can come back and I believe you can be merged with our fleet. You for funsies are now going to go over there and colonize that we'll go and expand to there just to complete that branch off sounds stupid but I don't like not having branches done it just seems silly system survey complete Someone used a mining laser from orbit a 
approximately 5,000 years ago to carve a large body of writing into the surface of Feiyu 2. The massive script covers a large portion of planets up our hemisphere and appears to be a short story chronicling the difficult life of an alien mercenary. Fair enough. <laughs> so basically, vandalism. Anomaly found. There are signs of activity by an ancient precursor civilization on this inhospitable rock. Thank you. Research that place. I told you, it looks like they're all going to be up here. So the new system's likely to be around here somewhere. It's what I'm calling anyway. Okay gonna call it here I think it looks like we're doing good so it's been a bit longer basically this has been Darvain doing let's play Stellaris if you like what you're seeing here be sure to like subscribe share and com copy uh, comment not copy comment and until the next time goodbye mm -hmm.